yeah. Welcome back. As you guys would have seen on the thumbnail, we're gonna be running through a couple of different things on this episode. One of them being, we're gonna be pulling the engine out of the VK. We're gonna be taking it down to Danko at Addictive Performance to assess the damage that's happened in the cylinder head. If you haven't seen what's happened, go check out our last episode and then you can jump onto this episode and keep up to date. But the second thing that we're gonna be running through is something that we've documented over the last couple of months, getting the VK ready for something for me that gave me a big bucket list check and I'm stoked about. So stay tuned and you'll get to find out what that is, but we're gonna jump straight into it and get that engine out, let's go. So we're gonna strip it all out, drop the fluids, pull off what we need to, and then get it all on a pallet ready to go. We're gonna get the box to Jason at Shotgun and we're gonna get the engine to Danko to get it all checked over while it's all out and then if we can't get it ready for an event coming up. So we've got some bits and pieces and we got the rockers. I actually ordered the steel rockers six months ago. I think when I initially broke the last ones. So they land next month sometime. So it should all fall into place well, but we're, uh, we're just gonna jump straight into it and we're gonna start by dropping all the fluids and then we'll get into pulling off what we need to just so we can yeet it. yourself a half inch to three eight long extension to do the gearboxes oh you need to This is the engine, so this will go to Dr. Danko to get looked at, and then uh, yeah, get the transmission down here. It's a bit cool because you don't get to see that it's in a in a proper case and everything, an SFI case and everything. So it's it's good when you pull them out like that. They're due for a good cleanup as well. And um, yeah, we might be doing something with this. I'm just not sure yet. But we'll uh, next we'll see at Danko's. In the background, you probably saw that the uh, my VK's up on the trailer, and she's looking a little bit naked. No chrome, no interior. So she's off for a little trip. So we're about to make our way down to a good friend of ours, and we'll keep you updated when we get there, and we'll show you what the plans are for the VK. We've had to park the big girl up the street, grab the goodies, and head down to the boys at European Auto. Drop the car off, cause what are we gonna do? Uh, we're just gonna tidy up the lower half of the car, the silver, the sills, and uh, door molds and guard molds, and uh, we're gonna go around and freshen up all the satin black around the door frames and the uh, center pillar. Perfect. The boys will have it for a few weeks, I think. Uh, a couple of weeks, we'll have it all done, sorted, ready to run and roll again. Perfect. And then we can slap it all back together. Tommy gave me a call and said, head on down. So we've actually got a day without rain because it was, did not stop all day yesterday. So Melbourne just being Melbourne. So I'm super excited about that. So family affair. We're gonna head down to the detailers first, pick up the interior, and then from there we're gonna head across to the body shop and see how the car looks. How good's this? We've got the light on it now. Wow. That's come up sick. Isn't it crazy what a little wash can do? Well, let's get it wrapped up, chucked on the pallet, and we'll, yeah, get after go picking the car up. We've just got the car home, and the boys have done a wicked job. This has never looked this good. They've banged all new screws in it. The fitment's amazing. And they've got these dog legs on, so with, my, with the bigger wheels, with the 325s, if it, if it tends to shake the tyre a little bit or a little, get a little bit of a slap happening at a power cruise or something, they'll tend to rip these off like all the time. But the boys have trimmed it with a guard and urethaned it on, so I don't think we're gonna have any issues with that anymore. But I left it in Tommy's, Tommy's decision for the, the gloss sides of things or the satin. And mate, I'm so happy with the satin. The next step will be to polish up all the chrome. The boys already done all the stuff on the bars but we'll polish up all the chrome that goes around the window 
and a couple of bits and pieces before we go putting it all back together. But I'm ecstatic. Thank you boys, you've done an awesome job. Everything is taken out of the VK. All the painted parts, all the old stuff we had, the mirrors and whatnot that we've taken off the car. It's bare empty in here, but we need to pick up a couple of these screws and whatnot. Vacuum all the carpet, vacuum parcel shelf, all that stuff, wipe it all down. So it's all good, good to go. And then we're gonna start at the back and then work our way forward, putting the interior and everything in. And then we'll get it over the hoist and do the last bits and pieces that we need to do to the car before tomorrow where we'll uh, do that special thing that we were talking about. All right, we're back down at Unseen with Andrew himself with the new wheel. Ta-da! The old wheel. Recolored, fresh, ready to go. Look at that. <laughs> but uh, that has come up mint, my friend. Look at that. If you guys need any of this stuff done, make sure you call the man himself. That unseen. So we'll chuck the contact details below. He's uh, the best in the game at it. So we'll uh, we'll take this home so I can get it all back together. And I've got bugger all time, so I'll get after it. Loving to see. Um, it. Nah, thanks, heaps, thanks. Mate. You're Cheers. welcome, mate. Thank you. Quick little update. Interior's in. We're running around like madmen. We've got Ian quickly running underneath the car to give it a clean. We've got Lachlan changing the rear wheels so we can bang the the magnums on. And we've got Caleb down the back rubbing some chrome, or chrome, doing the, the trim pieces that we're gonna, gonna be putting on the car. All right, the thing you guys have probably been waiting for, what my bucket list tick was. So, as you would have seen, the car's been at paint, we've got the interior back in it, Caleb's finished up polishing up all the chrome, we've got it all fitted, the wheels are on, and now, we have Alan from Street Machine coming down to take some photos of the car to put it in the mag. Something I'm super stoked about. I've been buying Street Machine since I was a kid. Uh, the teachers used to tell me all the time at school that's not homework, but I didn't really care because this is what I do now. So super stoked about that. So we got her coming down. Um, the car at the moment's not running, but we we're, uh, we're gonna take some photos and, and do all that in house, which is super cool. Cause then we get to implement what we do here at DNG. So she's gonna be coming out. We're gonna be setting up the car and then we're taking some photos and we're, we'll show you the process of what we're doing there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you how they turn out by the time this comes out. So let's jump straight into it. Let's go. You're the cutest. <laughs> We're all finished, the photos are done. You'll have to wait and see how they turn out. But we have the lady here herself. Ellen's done an amazing job. Howdy. And she's stuck through <laughs> all, all the stuff that's happened today. So we didn't film at the start because we had a little incident where a foot might have got stuck under a hoist. Oops. Which It's not broken though. It's, it's just a bit of burst blood vessels, that's yeah. all. Maybe it's some tendons. But <laughs> in that DNG luck, she's pushed through, she's done an amazing job, and I can't wait to see how it's coming out. But thanks for coming out. That's all right, thanks for being my lighting man. No, that's it. Another feather in the hat, lighting boy. What a day. Things didn't go to plan. The foot thing and everything, but stay tuned to the end. We're gonna jump back into the engine now, and you'll find out exactly how the photos come out at the end. So stay tuned and we'll get it all sorted. We've got the engine out and we've got the transmission out. So we're gonna load this up and we're gonna drop the trans off to Jason and we're gonna drop off the engine off to Danko. Don't wanna go messing up any of Joel's work. Joel does amazing billet work to his, um, we've got his valley plate and his timing cover on the engine. That's not going anywhere. So, all right, next stop, addicted. There you go, a little bit of schmutz in the base, man. We'll make the trek over to Shotgun Performance. It's a bit of a hike. Whew. Took a minute, but we're here. Probably one of the best benefits of having these two look after my stuff. Right next door, so one and the other. So Chase is gonna be bringing out a C C4, I believe it is. And then we'll be able to, um, yeah, figure out what the game plan is to look at this and see what's involved. Ask the men some questions. That's what do you got for me? Oh, just dropped the 400 off. Thanks is gonna have a look at the 
have a look at the engine and I thought while well, we got it out, might as well do a health check on this. Good plan I reckon. Wish the friggin' 400 was as light as that. <laughs> <laughs> so, this C4 transmission is going in Ed's uh, R33 Skyline. So, you'll probably see that on the channel a little bit later on when uh, when we get all the parts and pieces we're waiting for. We're just got the 400 on the back bench. What are you looking for when you're having a look at it? Oh, I mainly start off with just the oil. See how bad the oil is, see if there's any foreign material in it, metal or yep. band material. The um, trans cooler oil looks pretty good. Yep. So, and you always check, the, you check your pump. Yep. So you make sure there's no grooves in here. Yep. You don't want too much chatter on there. But I know this is a convert that's been in a different car as well, hasn't it? Yeah, well, not a different it's car. Different end, different. Yeah, a different combo. So. Yeah. See, see what the oil looks like when it comes out. It's, Nice and red. Yeah, 100%. All right, let's go check on that engine. I don't know how it's gonna go, all these lights flicker and all that stuff, but we're still gonna film it anyways. Like I said, bear with the flicker. Valley plates off. Looks good so far. Mostly you can see all the swarf. All the swarf and stuff in there. Oh, is it gear or is it timing? Belt. It's gear. Yeah, some bitch, eh? Yes, 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 yes. We've changed it that many times, I forget. Someone keeps breaking things. Sitting up here. Yeah, yeah it's mainly all up here. There's, there's just found something while we're waiting for the oil to drain. And we found another rocker that's rocking. <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> so, it's kind of lucky that one did break, because if not, they probably all would have broke. But, um,. Like we said, like that's just the rockers fatiguing you after all that time. Yeah, now these are all getting replaced. So these are gonna get replaced with steel rockers. Maybe by the time this comes out, we might even have them. All right, so we just pulled it down. I didn't pull it down. I just took a couple of bolts out. But um, bearings look good. Bearings look really good. So that's a plus. Considering what you do to it, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it's a touchy subject. <laughs> but um, what are you doing now? We're just going to check the one of the main bearings, so we might as well take the thrust bearing out. Thrust bearing. So far, so good. We're going to leave it there, and then we're going to pull the front off on Monday because we've both got things to do, and it's getting late. So we're going to smash out uh, last bits and pieces just to cover it up, and then yeah. We'll see you back here on Monday. All right, so that is a wrap on the VK. So we're gonna be waiting for the roller rockers to come in and checking out everything else that Danko has in store for the engine and what we're gonna be doing. But for those who wanna know, January 2024, that is the issue I got to get in with the VK. I'm super stoked. Um, they did an awesome, awesome spread on it. If you wanna see any of this stuff, jump online if you don't already have the issue. But thanks so much. And for those asking about the, the piston that was in the thumbnail, this is what happens when you send a V8 that's not intended to 10,000 RPM. So, yeah. That's a wrap. See you in the next one. <laughs>